What's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenn Bo, and I got the head horseman himself. Oh, this way, Ruben Camp. Ruben from Dark Horse Tech. Ruben, what's up, man? Mr. Bo, how you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. So here's the thing, man. We were talking the other day. You gave me uh, this article, and it was about a dental association that got hacked and held for ransomware and all sorts of crazy stuff. And I was like, dude, if it's going to happen to a big organization, right, like that, we definitely need to get you on and talk about those things, man. And let me ask you this, man. Out of all the years you worked in IT, have you seen anything like that in dentistry? Not in dentistry. It's uh, We're considered managed services providers, right? We manage your services. And we've always been a very ideal target for hackers because you know we manage 450 dental practices you have to hack us to get access to them uh, you know in regards to what you'd have to do to to get into 450 practices individually it's a lot less work so uh, it, short answer yes just dental this is the first time we've seen this um and uh, so right, currently right now in this just caught CNN's attention. So this is a yeah. national news story. Uh, there's 400 dental practices that are, are affected. 100 have been restored or have been brought up to being able to take x-rays, see patients, see your schedule uh, currently. So this is still an ongoing problem. This happened on Monday. Wow. Wow. So, so for those who are just jumping on and guys, if you, if you're a fan of dark horse, type in horse, in the comments section, <laughs> but um, okay. So Ruben, let's let's kind of let's kind of backtrack a little bit because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't know what happened. Uh, obviously, it's on CNN now, um, mm -hmm. and, and he sent me that article earlier in the week. I'm like, dude, that's so crazy. So give everyone like the short version, and they can go on CNN and read it themselves. What happened? Mm -hmm. So again, this IT company called Perksoft. Uh, got hacked. They're based out of Milwaukee. They're actually, fun fact, inside the Wisconsin Dental Association's building. Uh, they have estimated 500 clients. 400 of them got affected. They um, and even some of their ex clients that left them got affected because they left their software on their servers, which is like a Team Viewer or something. It's something similar. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, something called uh, Screen Connect. And so they did not have two factor authentication turned on to screen connect, which means, you know, you need a cell phone to yeah. verify access to it. Um, so they had a very simple password in the system it, that got hacked. And then the uh, this was a brand new ransomware that there is no solution for right now, uh, besides paying the ransom. Uh, was deployed to every single client that had that on their system. So. Again, so, there's nothing the dental offices could have done. They trusted their IT provider. And uh, this is just an unfortunate situation in which you got to turn on two-factor authentication, right? It's, it's Yeah. You, it, can be, you got to do that for your Facebook. You know how many people get their <laughs> Facebook hacked every day? Yeah. yeah you get those, uh, it's, it's like unbelievable. I don't know why people yeah. don't do that. No, it's, it's pretty it, – this is just – you know, you can, there's things we have on our long-term project list that we want to get to and we're procrastinating, but your, your IT company can't procrastinate. Like you have to trust them to do this. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I, what's really weird about this and we've seen, I mean, I've been in other Facebook groups where like I've had doctors said, man, we got hit by ransomware. It was ridiculous. All these things. We've heard it from a small practice perspective, right? right. This is the first time I've ever heard where it hit the top like the, the actual IT provider, the IT support, and it trickled down to all their clients and got everybody. That's the first time I've ever heard anything like that. In dental, that it's a it's a first time for for that. Is we see this in other industries, just this is unprecedented for us. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? I'm gonna ask you what I asked you the other day when you sent me that article. Uh, hello, Ruben. What are y'all doing, man? Because I'm a, I'm a client of Dark Horse Tech. Yeah. I don't want that happening to me. So what? What yeah. for, for those who are uh, are clients of Dark Horse, guys, shout out Dark Horse. Type in horse in the comment section. Um, <laughs> what up, guys? Yeah, so for us who are clients of yours, what are you guys doing to make sure that this doesn't happen to us? 
All right, so it all starts with two-factor authentication. You cannot get in the system without a fingerprint, face ID. You need my face, essentially. To, you need me in person to get into our systems for anything that is a massive deployment vector like we just saw. So, uh, you know, that's something we implemented very early on. I'm not going to lie. When I saw this happen, I went back through every single system we had and made sure it was turned on. You know, it's one of those things you're just like, yeah, we did that. And then like, this is just one of those things like this is the worst day of the, the, the guy who runs perks off. This is the worst week of his entire life. And oh, yeah. a lot of these dental worst, offices. The worst, my, probably one of the worst days for all the, the, those doctors. They can't yeah. even run their practice. We have 300 doctors in that market that are not seeing patients or taking x-rays. So yeah, they're having a terrible week this week as well, obviously. Um, so we're doing everything possible so that there's not assumptions made of, of security. Um, so really everything is two factor that it can be uh, something deployed or launched from our end to yours. There's mm -hmm. a, there's a sandbox, there's a firewall in place for that not to happen. Uh, it's something very simple to do, you know, to take, but uh, if you don't do it, this is, this is something you have to live with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so first of all, I'm really happy uh, I, guys, just to let y'all know when he sent me that, I, that's the first question I asked. I wanted to make sure everything was protected, <laughs> but for other dark horse tech customers that are in this group, you know, that they, they, they got your back. He just explained to you how they're doing things. Now, not everyone's with dark horse, right? But you know, Ruben, you, you came on, you told me, he's like, look, man, I just want to make sure no one, I don't care if you use me. I don't care if you use uncle Joey down the street. I don't care. I just want you guys to be protected. So let's go over the things that people need to know about. What, what are these yeah. things that they need to get on their phone or in on the help desk with their IT company and ask what, what, what are the questions they need to ask their IT company to protect them from this? Absolutely. And Glenn, I sent you that form ahead of time. So feel free to distribute that. Oh, okay. This, this is fr directly from a uh, cyber liability insurance company. So this is what you need to have in place to get insurance, right? Naturally, this lines up with exactly what we're offering our clients because by being with Dark Horse and being HIPAA compliant, you get actually put under our umbrella of coverage. Like Glenn, you have half a million dollars yeah. in coverage just because you have a backup system, a firewall, antivirus, uh, patch management, monitoring software. We can go over that, uh, what you need to do. It also lines up with what you're required to do from a HIPAA standpoint federally. So it's all it, it's all in sync. And that's why when you see a quote from us, a plan from us, it does include all of these things. So um, no, first thing, have the antivirus software. Very simple. Mm -hmm. um, antivirus these days can actually stop ransomware as it's getting onto the system because it knows how it's uh, working in a behavioral standpoint. So even if it's a new strain, ransomware is locking the files the same way. So it, it's able to detect that behavior and then shut it down. Um, you know, we need to make sure all your systems are up to date. So I know a lot of you are getting quotes from your IT companies right yeah, now. Yeah, like from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And people yeah, are so complaining we, about that. So for those yeah, who are complaining, yeah. like, oh my gosh, I'm, I gotta, man, I gotta update stuff. I'm getting gouged here. Why don't you tell them, like the real reason why they should be glad to be switching over. So in January coming up here, Windows is not going to release any more updates. And so if you can imagine the hackers now have a single version of unchanging system uh, to exploit. Um, so essentially in healthcare, we're required to keep our systems up to date for that reason. So yeah. Windows 7 is going to be completely torn apart by hackers um, because it, it does not, it's not going to get those patches. Um, so that's why Windows Server 2008, for th those of you who are replacing servers in Windows 7, they're on the same kernel. I think 2023 will be the uh, Windows Server 2012. So for those of you that are on that version, that's a little bit of a heads up there. Um, because you, know, we you, know, to you can be nifty. You can be nifty. I mean, not nifty. Let me change that. I'm sorry. You can be thrifty by not updating things, but that's not nifty because you're going to get hacked like crazy, okay, when you don't have those updates anymore. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the last line of defense is your backup system. So mm -hmm. if this company had kind of been proactive, Glenn, in perfect example, you use a backup and disaster recovery system. So that means if your server goes down, 
your backup system is going to get you up in about five minutes. That's it. So say if you were one of these customers and you had our system under that, you would have been up on Monday and really just been uh, pissed off at the company, but you would still be up and, and <laughs> fully functioning. Um, so there's the preventative layers, antivirus, your firewall, which is kind of like think about it as your missile defense system for the office, stopping things from getting in from the outside. And the backup is the last line of defense. So all these things you need to be HIPAA compliant to even get a cyber liability insurance policy. And that's why they're in our offerings. And let's go into the insurance thing, because uh, obviously uh, when I signed up with Dark Horse, I saw that in the quote and, you know, just re-upped with you guys and that was in there too. But a lot of people, they don't realize that that's something they should have. So mm -hmm. talk about that insurance and what that, when hopefully you never need it, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like uh, your home insurance, you hope you never need it. And uh, hey, Shout out to everyone in Florida. I hope that hurricane flies a different yeah. direction, guys. But you know what? You guys have insurance because things things happen. Okay. So let's talk about the insurance. Like, first of all, why why doesn't everybody have that insurance? I mean, because there's a lot of people that don't, number one. Right. And why is that a good idea to have it? Right. I think it it's a it's an education uh, piece. And it's also like old insurance companies have been slow to adopt these policies. So you've seen a lot of individual providers come up there. So I, it's a relatively new phenomenon. I know a lot of you have probably heard about it at meetings or maybe from your IT company before. Um, it, we're kind of a little more comprehensive than the average company. We extend our policy to you. Uh, that's not typical. So that means all of these things we're talking about, if something gets through your backup or your firewall or your antivirus software, it's a, it's going to hit your cyber liability insurance policy. So uh, we've kind of taken that and said, well, we'll take all the responsibility for our systems. Now what you need to worry about is your staff. So you need to worry about human error. You need to worry about someone saying something out loud in a supermarket, overhearing its aids, it's, you know, Luckily in dental, there's not a, you know, root canal is not a, an embarrassing thing. Maybe yeah. it is to some people, but um, it's really like the medical condition, social security number, stuff like that. Um, that you, this policy, uh, so it helps pay for what happens next if there is a breach. Um, it helps, you know, pay for the media exposure that's going to happen. Um, it, it perks off, you know, they just reported this to the FBI there's a lot of things that go into this oh, man. telling all your patients what happened uh, stamps times your entire patient base postcards times your entire patient base. It gets very expensive. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully you never need it, but you know what, for those people who are affected by that, mm -hmm. I hope they have insurance because it's going to be very expensive guys. I see a bunch of people on, if you have any questions, right? Obviously we're talking about uh, cyber, cyber security. We're talking about, insurance right and then we're going to talk a little bit more about ransomware but if you guys uh, have any questions please type in the comment section ruben's a busy guy but i really wanted to bring him on this morning because of what had happened there um so ruben let's kind of shift back to right ransomware right you know back in the day when we were growing up you know you you forget to leave your door locked and someone goes in there and steals your nintendo steals your stuff and then you're pissed you're pissed and then you go buy a new one, right? right? But with ransomware, they take your stuff and they make you pay even more. It's like ridiculous, okay? So let's let's talk about ransomware because some people, they're like, what is that? <laughs> you know, what is that like getting hacked or something? What is that? Explain what, like in a very simple way, what yeah. ransomware is. It's blackmail. That's all. It's extortion. It's blackmail. That's all it is, right? If it really only affects you if you don't have a backup system, because honestly, if all your files are locked down, you just restore from your backup, um, unless you design your backup in a terrible way and it's all connected to the same system. <laughs> then, yeah, then uh, to get your patient's information back, you oftentimes will have to pay. Um, and there's kind of an insidious part of this. It escalates every couple of days and then they delete the key at the end of it. Um, the reason this works is because in my experience, what I've seen 100% of the time, they give you your files back. So it, <laughs> there's a part of this like they actually follow through on it. So, so people actually pay the ransom. But essentially what is happening is, and this is the most common attack vector we see in any dental office is ransomware. It, 
they come in, all your files are changed, and they're locked down with a specific 128 character key that's impossible to guess. Mm -hmm. And you can buy it back if you don't have that. That's the the crux of it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like... It's kind of like, you know, you, 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 someone kidnapped, kidnaps your pet and it says, we're not giving your pet back unless you pay X amount of money. And you say, I don't, neg- I don't negotiate with kidnappers. And they're <laughs> saying, well, too bad. You won't be able to open your practice again. Um, you know what? So we have a question from the, can we fill some questions, Ruben? Yeah. Let's, anyway, let's go ahead and do this here. Um, any recommendations on the cyber insurance company? Yeah. Um, so uh, if you already have insurance going and you have a good relationship with your provider, just asking them. Uh, I have referred people to Justin Reinmuth at Tech Rug. They do specific policies. I've seen uh, the rates somewhere in the 1200 to 1500 a year. This is not something that's going to break the bank. Yeah. Um, uh, I can, I can, Glenn, I can give you his information after we get off here. Sure, yeah. Um, he's helped out a lot of our clients just bolster the coverage. They, they wanted some additional coverage. And what is the coverage for? Like, what's the amount normally? Like, uh, the that coverage, Paul, like the, half a million, half a million. Okay. You can, you can go up from there. That's just the standard offering. So, uh, you know, we have a, a kind of a comment here. Uh, uh, this doctor is my current insurance company. Uh, mm-hmm. and they only, offer a hundred thousand is that is that like the bare minimum or how do you feel about that amount i don't think i I don't know if we can get a follow-up question about how large his practice is but that's probably not enough okay um, unless you have only a couple hundred patients um so yeah it's probably just not enough The, the the math does not work out in your favor with the fines and just think about credit monitoring it's nine dollars uh per patient per month it like it's just that times your patient base a stamp letting everyone know with a letter times your patient base it, you'll hit a hundred thousand in no time yeah 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 so so half a million is like the i would say the minimum right would you yeah. say that yeah that's the minimum and i should just mention one other thing so mm-hmm. the difference between this being your it company's like personal liability and this being on you is a business associates agreement. And this is something that we usually just like, uh, you know, Dennis, we just gloss over, oh, BAA, yes. And yeah, yeah. No, no, like literally that piece of paper that could be one to four pages is the only thing. Uh, so the, I, let's say this happens and it's a small IT company, family run business. Mm-hmm. And he, his choices are pay for all the fines that you're going through or go out of business. Do you think he's just going to stop returning his phone calls and his emails? He did, legally has no responsibility in this situation. Yeah. So uh, that's that's another thing. Get a BAA if you don't have one with not just your IT, but anybody that has access to your help. So local med, you know, any Yappy, Flex, Medento, any of those companies, like they, you, you need some sort of documentation that says you're liable if your program breaks. And you know what? I think that that is something that is so important that you brought up because I think a lot of people, they don't realize what that BAA is. They think it's just another sheet that's like annoying that they have to fill out. But really, that's what's going to protect your butt, basically. It's that piece of paper. It's so simple. Um, and it, it if you're in that situation, it's like the worst thing in the world because of how simple it was. So guys, uh, you know, there's a lot of people on right now. If you have any more questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section. If you're, if you're a customer of Dark Horse and you like what you're hearing, <laughs> type in the comment section, horse, okay? <laughs> so, so Ruben, okay, so now that company right now, um, obviously there's, um, let's, let's go to this. You've worked with, I mean, you guys have a lot of clients and, and you, you onboard a lot of new practices. Can you just... Give me like just a rough estimate mm-hmm. of how many practices are not implementing some of these fail safes, the ones that you take on as new clients, right? Like how often do you right. see that? Or have you ever, or do you normally get in there like, oh my gosh, you got, you guys have a backup. You got insurance, yeah. you got all these things. I mean, right. I'm assuming that most practices that you start to work with, they don't have those things. Yes, that is correct. I, there are some companies out there uh, that, 
the way they get around the, the, the price structure is because they do not offer everything you need. They, they, they don't offer a firewall. Uh, you know, I can't tell you how many practices we go into and they have like a net gear home router from Best Buy. That's not a, that's not a firewall. That's not actually protecting um, or AVG free or, you know, one of these systems. Uh, short answer, most of them, I'd say maybe 5% of the offices we go into, they had something in place. That their, the staff was trained, everything's ready to go, and they're leaving their IT company because of price or they pissed them off somehow. Um, so most people, and, and in saying that, I'm saying don't feel bad. There is This should be coming from your IT company. This should be sure. coming, you know, we should be educating you on what you need. And, and that's why we offer plans with that are essentially, these things are mandatory for you to work with us. Um, and, going back to everything we talked about, that's why it's mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know what? I mean, I'm sure that because you make it mandatory, I mean, sometimes you don't have offices working with you. Yes. Yeah. But you know what? At the end of the day, if these things happen, they would wish they had these things in place. And I I love the fact that you guys kind of stick to your guns there. we got another question here. Let me pull this up. And uh, this, this, this doctor is asking, does every client of Dark Horse Get cybersecurity insurance with Dark Horse then. I think you can answer that. And then if so, what's the amount of coverage? Yes, they get a half a million. So our policy, we kick, you know, depending on how many endpoints. So right now we manage 5,400 computers and servers across the country. Every time we get like another thousand, I keep upping our policy. But for all of our clients, We've we offer the five hundred k. That's what you get off of being there. I do a terrible job of a- uh, advertising that I actually do that. Um, so luckily, well, hey, <laughs> now you guys here. know, and we got and video of that proof. And yeah, if you want more than that, again, you can always get go and get more coverage. But yes, every single Dark Horse customer does. I love it. I love it. All right. Yeah. So guys, keep the questions coming. Uh, again, Ruben is taking some time out of his business busy day. Uh, because a huge IT company uh, in the Midwest got hacked um, and there's 300 offices that got affected. So the IT company got hacked and it trickled down and got everything. It's unprecedented in dentistry. And when I found about it earlier this week, uh, first question I asked was, Ruben, am I protected? Hello. And he was like, yes, <laughs> everyone dark hairs is okay. And I said, well, this is super important. Squeeze me in your schedule. I don't care what time it is because we need to get on and talk about this. And so that's why we're here yeah. on a Friday morning. Ruben has his hat on. He's actually about to go work. I'm like, dude, just wait. Just wait a bit. <laughs> do this Facebook Live and we're going to do that. So Ruben, here's the thing, man. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people that, uh, that work with uh, – dark horse and i'm a big fan and the great thing is is that you've been a very big supporter of 50 thrifty dennis but also you're very easy to get a hold of in the group so we appreciate that and you're answering all these questions you're a busy guy and that's one of those things guys is that not only do we talk about nifty deals not only do we do that we actually have the companies that we really believe in, they're in this group. So if there's an issue, if there's a question mm-hmm. and he gets tagged in the post, he's normally there or one of his team members are there. And that's what makes this group so special. And uh, speaking of special, spe- speaking of, you know, of course, I want to say something really nice to you, Ruben, right before I ask you for a nifty deal. So <laughs> you got something for us, man. You got something. I mean, come on. You know, you know, this is the whole thing, you know, bring you on Nifty Thrifty Dennis. So what do you got, man? Yes, sir. So we were, we were talking about that missile defense system and oh, yeah. it confuses a lot of people. What a firewall does, it's one of the most common questions we get asked. Glenn twisted my arm. We're going to, uh, for an undisclosed amount of time, if you're signing up for our, our most common plan, we're going to be giving you a $695 Cisco Meraki cloud-based, awesome kick butt firewall for free. Wow. Man, with a name like Meraki, you know it's intense. <laughs> Some people God. call it the Marakai <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, Cisco is the number one uh, security network uh, provider in the world. 
Uh, we are reseller of their small business products because we're all small business. They, um, you know, with the combination of our antivirus software and our firewall system, we have not had to worry about ransomware in our offices because we are preventing this from happening. Um, so what's going on right now, our clients and us, it's a huge time suck. It costs you money, costs us money. We're, we don't want to deal with it. Yeah. So yeah. I love it. Firewall. I love it. I love that. That's an awesome nifty deal. We're going to put that in the comments section. And uh, Ruben, uh, I, I, I want to have to up the ante a little bit for you. Can you also send that hat and that shirt to all new clients as well? <laughs> I don't know if you want the polo. It's a golf polo, but the, the hat is. The, the hat, hat is, is nice. pretty sweet, man. I like that. I like, like, I would say out of all the IT companies, that dark horse logo, you know, Thanks, Hat and yeah. okay, okay, guys. You know what? Message him a lot and just harass him. And uh, <laughs> and then he's so Ruben. We got yeah. we got a lot of people coming on. They always obviously love the deal. I mean, we 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 have someone here, a current customer that's like that is super generous and awesome. Yeah. Hey, and you know what? Maybe maybe Ruben will send you a hat. Awesome. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we got some questions. Can we can we fill some more questions? Because now people are like sliding, and now they're very interested. Um, Let's do it. Oh man, I don't know. Oh, this is this is a good one right here. Uh oh. Well, what's we your at? monthly fee for your standard service, Ruben Camp of Dark Horse? Sure. sure. Well, they're all custom tailored. It's not like you know a, a yappy where you have like this is your price. Um, we based everything off the number of computers. That's how much support you need, how much antivirus, how much data we're backing up. I can typically say we are in the 450 to 650 a month range for everything we talked about and unlimited remote support. So all of that, uh, what you need to be HIPAA compliant and our, you know, what we're known for is awesome support. Uh, that, that is all right in there. Well, you know what, I'm going to talk about something about, cause some people are like, you know, I want the cheapest plan. Right. And I'll tell you guys what, I mean, I have the, um, unlimited support because literally I am too busy to screw around with this stuff. I mean, I'll be the first to admit it. So literally I am actually signing up um, a new program, a new platform. I want to talk about that later. I want to hijack this, this Facebook live, but I'm signing a new program here. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I love it. Yeah. And they're like, Hey, Dr. Vo, can you, uh, you know, talk to our tech guy and get on your server? I was like, uh, here's the number to dark horse, call them because I'm too busy. And literally everything that come is deals with it I punt it to them all the time. And I'll tell you what, you're too busy, guys. You're in your dental practice seeing patients. You're dealing with your team. You're dealing with patient, uh, you know, uh, team members and whatnot. And you know what? When you get a free second, you want to just go on Facebook, okay? That's what you want to do. You don't want to go and screw around with your server, okay? And that is ultimate plan that unlimited plan is well worth it so just wanted to kind of say that there but um again so the standard price ruben just kind of the average is how much again can you say that again it's so there's a there's a one-time component there's the the backup system and the firewall obviously if you're signing up for this promo the firewall won't be there uh it'll be a zero dollar price item and then there's the actual onboarding so we come to every single one of our practices in person and onboard them Right. So if you sign up for a plan, someone's going to come with a hat and a polo and install all your system. Right. Now that <laughs> might be Ruben himself. And it might be it. Shout out to enamel dentistry and uh, Dr. Ferdkopf from Converse dentistry. I'll see you in Texas next week. Yeah. And then also you might as well. And, and especially if you live in a very exotic and nice locale, then Ruben will be there. Okay, so <laughs> if you're Hawaii, a doctor watching there. right now and you're in Hawaii, uh, I can almost guarantee you that it will be Ruben that's showing up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there, no problem. So, so, so yeah, so sorry, the range was 450 to 650. Typically, we have some offices that are, you know, they have over 20 computers and they're they're outlier. Your, your practice is fairly large, so you might be in the upper range of that, Glenn. Yeah, I know, I know. <sighs> anyway, okay, yeah, I know the 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 pains, the growing pains right there. So that's going to lead to my next question that audience member asked, and they they're asking, well, well, how's your company manage hardware issues from distance? Yes, sir. It's so that is something uh, that we had to figure out about three years ago. We were very regional. I, this company is seven years old. 
Uh, I used to work at Benco and I left and started this company. And we were very New York, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts based. And we got an opportunity to work for Howard Ferran's office in Phoenix, Arizona. And we pulled it off really, really well. And that kind of gave us the confidence to, to build the platform out and offer it remotely. And these days, if we sign on 20 clients, 19 of them are remote. Like it's that much of a disparity in terms of where we're bringing clients on. So we do, we're really good. We're dental specific. We can handle most things remotely, but if we need somebody on site, we have technicians right now in uh, North Carolina and Dallas and Houston are, are imminently, uh, like I say, offers are out and there's another offer out in Milwaukee, Chicago area. So for those areas, we're, we're fine. The other areas, we work with a really great uh, subcontractor that, that mm -hmm. can dispatch anybody across the United States. I mean, just like, you know, Dell or HP has these systems, we were able to, to tap into that. Yeah. And we have some comments up there. Uh, we have a doctor that says you come highly regarded. Yeah. Hey, not just me. There's other people too. ask other, uh, other customers what they think. And, um, he kind of adds too. I don't want the cheapest. I want the best bang for your buck. Well, hello. We just talked about the nifty deal. We just talked about all these things that come under that. Uh, I want to say this is the best bang for your buck. And speaking of the best bang for your buck, let's say it one more time. What's the nifty deal again, Ruben? Let's go through that one more time. $695. I want to the normal accent and then also the way Texans pronounce that. that, that. <laughs> we are giving away, for anybody signing up for our most popular level two plan, a free Cisco Meraki slash Marakai <laughs> MX67 <laughs> firewall. So this is stopping people from getting into your practice, right? This is... It, this is just this uh, thing about if North Korea hurls a uh, missile over the United States, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is that missile defense station that's in Kauai that's going to shoot that puppy down. Oh, that is yeah. what we're doing. And you know what? I mean, the whole point of us bringing Ruben on today, uh, obviously, we love having him come on because he's got he gives us so much great info, Nifty Thrifty Dennis. But literally, not too long ago, about three hundred offices got affected in the in, in the kind of the Wisconsin area. And uh, the IT provider got hacked themselves and it trickled down and, and got everyone else hacked and held for ransom. Yeah. And so uh, when Ruben told me that, I brought him on. I was like, dude, uh, I don't want that happening to me, man. And you're like, dude, I got you covered. I already like quadruple checked and everything. Um, and then I was like, dude, you got to come on and let everyone know. So that's what we're having this Facebook Live for. I know a bunch of you guys are jumping on here. Ruben's a busy guy. He's going to be hopping out pretty soon, but you can watch the replay there. But if you have questions, type in the comment section. Type in the comment section, and, and if I see it, I'll tag him in that. He'll jump in there. That's a great thing about Absolutely. having Ruben in this group. Uh, not only has he been a great supporter of Nifty Thrifty Dennis, hooking us all up with a great deal, yeah. but we have his ear. He's a resource. He's a valuable resource. So if you have questions, type it in there. But Ruben. Yes, sir. I am going to give you the last word, words before we hop off. And what would you want to talk to let everyone know us concerning what just happened and what they should be thinking about? Yeah. Well, first, I just want to say thank you. I, I, you know, I, kind of we started, I was just kind of a like, a, I wasn't affiliated with Nifty Thrifty. I was just, I see myself as a very community, community oriented guy. And I was just helping doctors out as I always have. And uh, you would approach me and, and uh, twist my arm, and twist my arm <laughs> again. And uh, we finally worked something out uh, a couple of years ago. So it, it's been, um, it's been great. And I think we've signed up somewhere near 100 uh, members for our plan. Um, and some great relationships, friendships that I've had. Um, it's been a great thing for us. But what, I'll, what I want you guys to take away from this, not that you need to use us, right? We are an option out there amongst many options. But maybe use this experience. And if, Glenn, you can share the, uh, the form I sent you yeah. to, to ask some questions with your current group if you have faith in them to be able to pull this off. And, and, and maybe if they don't, then you might want to look for another solution because this is uh, this is what's happened right now is just not acceptable. We're, we're at day five and we have 300 dental offices down in that market right now. And it, it just something that could be completely prevented. Yeah. And that's true. Scary, but true. And hopefully those offices get back up and running. Right. And if you guys are in that area, you're affected. Um, I hope you're watching this and look, there's, there's options out there, right? And there's questions that you need to ask that IT company. 
some serious questions, right? But at the end of the day, um, there's options out there. And Ruben just kind of laid it out what you need to be asking. So Ruben, thank you so much for jumping on, man. I know you got to get, you get your, you got your hat on, you got your shirt on, you're ready to work there. So thank you so much for jumping on, man. And guys, Thanks, everyone that's watching, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Take care guys.